Hi, I'm Associate Professor Kirsten Benkendorf from Southern Cross University and I've been researching the medicinal properties of marine mollusks. Many snails such as these ones have been used traditionally in medicines throughout the world and I've been particularly researching an Australian snail, the species Dicotheus orbiter, also known as the common dog well. This species produces some brominated indole compounds which we've been of um, interest for their anti-cancer properties. But more recently we've been investigating their inflammatory properties partly because of the traditional uses of these snails but also because many anti-cancer um, compounds are also active against inflammation. So in collaboration with Professor Mike Cotty from Southern Queensland University and my PhD student Tarek Hamad, we've been investigating the anti-inflammatory activity of these snails both in vitro in cell culture as well as in some mouse models. In particular, we've been looking at acute lung inflammation and the results that we've been finding have been far more exciting than we could have possibly anticipated. These snail extracts, the brominated indoles, effectively inhibit all inflammation, all signs of inflammation in this mouse model. So this is really exciting for the potential development of a pharmaceutical, a new anti-inflammatory um, agent from the brominated in indole, or a potential nutraceutical from the snail itself. If we want to sustainably develop this snail as an anti-inflammatory nutraceutical, we will need to look at aquaculture of the snail. But I think this holds really good potential for the development of a new, exciting Australian resource.